This is the date. And this is the time. Greetings. currently 8.58 p.m. It's still Friday, September 25th, 1992. So check it out. Batman, great series. Definitely a cut above the average animation. It's done in a style different from anything I've ever seen before. What it reminds me of is the old Max and Dave Fleischer Superman cartoons from the 40s. I don't know if you've seen those little 10 minute things. They're available in the El Cheapo videos sections of uh, like Kmart and stuff. If you want to check out some of those. Or I've got some of those Superman cartoons on tape actually. I've got three of them. Uh, so if you want to check them out, I'll be happy to send copies to you. Like if you're curious to see the comparison between that and the Batman series. So if you haven't checked out the Batman series yet, and you're at least a moderate Batman fan, I mean, check it out, because it's, it's definitely a good series. As a matter of fact, a lot of the stories in the series are adapted from the comics themselves. Like they've called in the original comic book writers of the particular stories and had them adapt their stories for television. The violence has been toned down. Uh, considerably from the comics. It's still pretty violent at times, and at, at times I wonder how they got some of the stuff past the censor board, you know. It's supposed to be a kid's show. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, 65 action-packed adventure episodes. I'm going to be taping them all. As you saw there, the box I got, that box over there is full of 8mm tapes. 9 8mm tapes. I'm putting 8 episodes on a tape, taping in the LP mode. I know it's not the greatest quality, but, you know, I just can't get all the tapes I would need to tape in the SP mode. SP mode, I could fit basically four episodes per tape, and uh, that's kind of a waste. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah, anyway, oh, got a new game. Uh, got a membership at this place called Leisureland Software nearby, and they rent software. I got the game called It Came From The Desert. Yeah, you can really see that well, can't you? There we go. It came from the desert. <laughs> This is actually, in this magazine is a review of a different version of that game. What I have is the original version. Uh, computer game version. That magazine I just showed you has a review of the TurboGrafx-16 CD version. Which actually sounds like quite an improvement, but they changed the story a lot. This is, uh, basically rented it and copied it. I'll move that in a little closer so you can see it a little better. See decent Americans terrorized, hear teenage girls squeal, presented in Thrillovision, make them ants cry uncle. Cinemaware presents It Came From The Desert. It's a takeoff on uh, 50s and 60s giant bug films. Specifically, uh, this one deals with giant ants, which you may have gathered from the cover there. I don't know if you recognize that or not as an ant. But it's quite good. I'm trying to figure it out. It's a tough game. They combine a lot of elements in it. Uh, they got the... Rise of the Dragon style uh, point and click interface for like conversations with characters and stuff. So you got the graphic adventure style stuff in it. As well they have some strategy game things in it. And some arcade sequences. You thought the arcade sequences in Rise of the Dragon or something. Well, what do you see the ones in these? Uh, they're pretty clever. I'm not going to tell you anything about it, I'll just let it be a surprise to you. But uh, hopefully by the time I'm doing Video Letter 12 I'll have finished it and I'll be able to tape it for you. Uh, there's a sequel, which we rented. The whole game, I believe, from beginning to end, runs about two hours, so I'll probably show it to you in, I don't know, two or three parts. It takes place over the course of <clears throat> 15 days. The days are nowhere near as long as they were in Rise of the Dragon. Uh, days can be all the way, you know, can be all of five minutes sometimes, you know. Because minutes click by at the same rate as seconds. Like, minutes in the game click by at the same rate as seconds in real life, you know. So time goes by pretty fast in that. You basically can only talk to people more or less during working hours, 9 to 5. You can talk to some people at night, some people earlier in the morning, but mostly during working hours. It's an interesting game, and I'll be sure to uh, let you have a look at it when I finish it. When I finish uh, figuring it out. It's great. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Once again, a lot like a movie. Very cinematic. I love it. In a different way from the other games I've shown you. It's, it's different from the other games I've shown you, so I think you'll... Uh, I think you'll get a kick out of it. So, excuse me. <laughs> Just a bag of wind today, eh? Man. Okay, so I'll uh, I'll talk to you later. And I have no idea what I'm showing you next. Uh, whatever I think of. So I'll talk to you later. Adios. Oh, Mindy and I might be doing a supernatural horror movie. I don't know if I mentioned or not.
But uh, when it's done, I'll sure to, I'll be sure to have you let you have a look at it. So until then, goodbye. Nice fade to off white.